Welcome back, Tigers. When reporting on campaigns, you may find yourself wanting to add fields from your lead account or contact objects who are campaign members in your campaigns. Well, there is a way to make this a reality without creating a whole bunch of formula fields that show hide certain information on the campaign member object. We're gonna show you how to use a super cool feature in Salesforce that allows you to add all of these fields to a custom report type. So you can now report on all your data for campaigns and campaign members, and it will include your fields from your leads, accounts, and contacts. Let's go check out how this works. Our use case is we wanna be able to report on the difference between the engagement of a prospect versus a customer. So we have a field on our account that tells us whether or not they are a customer or a prospect. So we can assume that any contact that's related to this account is going to have this particular status and then any lead is going to be considered a prospect. So we need the ability to add these fields to our campaign with campaign members reporting. Our first step is to go to setup and then report types. Click new custom report type. Our primary object is going to be campaigns. We'll call this campaigns with campaign members related fields. Our description will be use this report to pull information from lead contacts and account objects that are campaign members of a campaign. We're gonna store this in the campaigns category and then we'll click deploy. Now we need to add another related object for campaign members. And then we only want this to show if a campaign has a related campaign member record. Then we're going to click edit layout and we're gonna create three new sections. So we have a section for campaigns, a section for campaign members, and we're gonna create one for leads, our contacts and our contacts account information. So we'll call this lead information. The second one will be contact information. And the third one is going to be contacts account information. Now we'll come to our view here. We'll choose campaign members from the dropdown because we want to go to the related fields for the campaign member only. And we will see that we have account, contact, and lead. You may not see account. This is only going to show if you have the account as campaign members feature turned on. So that means that accounts can be a campaign member. So first we're going to add lead and we're going to select all. Now you might not be able to do this because there is a thousand field limit in a custom report type. Then I'm going to move all of these. I'm gonna click the control key and that'll allow me to highlight all of them and then I'll move them down here. And then there's two more. I like to keep everything in alphabetical order. I'm gonna do the same thing for my contact information. And then for the contacts account information, you need to go to contact first, and then you need to go to view related fields under account name. And so you'll see account name in the breadcrumbs up here, and that means you're selecting all of the fields from the account object. All right, I'll click save there. I've got 314 fields in this custom report type, so I'm under the limit. And now let's create a new report. I'm gonna click new report, and then I'll select my new custom report type. And then I'll start adding my fields. And here's where it can get a little bit tricky and confusing. So I'm gonna use this section over here to show you what's going on. So all of these fields right here are gonna be your campaign member only fields. Now, one of the things to point out here is that these are the fields that are common across your leads and contacts. So if you're reporting on both leads and contacts, you're actually gonna have a problem with the company name not being in the same column. So you would have to create a formula field for that, but we do have full name that will show in the same column. Then I'm going to collapse these down and we can see this lead information are all of my lead fields. And then the contact information is my contact fields. And then my contacts account information is all of the fields that are from the account related to my contacts. Now I know I want my status field because that's gonna tell me if my people in my campaigns are customers or prospects. 
you know how you have that special field that says member type on the campaign and camp with campaign members standard report type well you don't have that here so you would have to create a custom field for that which i can show you how to do here right now And so we're gonna look for our contact ID to be blank. So if our contact ID is blank, then we're going to show lead. And if not, we're going to show contact and it's as simple as that. I'm gonna save this and then refresh so that I can see that new formula field that I just created. And we should be able to search for a member type. And then we see we cannot see that still. So let's go over to our report type. And we're going to search for our campaign member fields. And we can see it did not get added. So there's only a special checkbox to add these fields to your custom report types when they're non-formula fields, it looks like. I didn't even know that. All right, we'll click Save there. Let's refresh one more time. And then we'll search for our member type and there it is. Perfect. We'll go ahead and add any additional fields that you want to see here. So we can see if I want to see the company name and the account name, it's going to be in different columns based on whether or not it's a lead or a contact. Now I'm going to show you something here. Now look at the data here and look at the data here. The reason why there's no data here is because this is the account name for an account if they were a campaign member. So make sure you select the right fields here. I'll remove that as a column and then I'm going to regroup that and then I'll save and run this and we'll see how our data is looking. So this is grouped by whether or not somebody is a lead or a contact and then whether or not they are a customer or a prospect. So this is giving me exactly what I needed. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel and show your love and support by being a subscriber or a member. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.